Hello, would you like to look like a gorgeous woman? Um, then keep watching this tutorial. <sighs> Notice how the backdrop is now wearing my confessional look. Hello, my eyebrows are already glued down and we'll go in with our creams. I'll start um, by just covering my beard and I'm using pink today. I'm gonna set it with my setting powder. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my foundation contour highlight like all together um, and I'm not gonna change it much from how I normally do it. I use Miron paint sticks. So these are for like stage makeup and the colors that they have aren't like the best. So I just found mixing two of them together on my face kind of like saves me product. And then you're just gonna make sure it's all blended together. We need to deepen the contours a little bit. I bring it up like all the way up my ear. And I feel like the little Nike swoop is an important part. And I'll go ahead and do my nose while I'm here. This brush is way too big. Ah! So I'm just gonna take this highlight color and drag it down my nose. And then just to clean up the side. Do you see? I like to just always dip into my, the color that I'm about to go in with. Uh, really focus it here and then kind of just lightly pull it towards the center of the face. Although I'm serving fish today, I still love my high eyebrow arch. I'm just not going to take it up quite as far. Normally I go all the way to the tops of my hairs. Um, and for this I'm going to use the tops of my hairs as like a guide of where I want my brow to be. That's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with my medium tan. Just kind of follow along. And then I make a dome here. Sometimes I leave myself speechless. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna keep all the normal crystal shapes, but just kind of like, 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 like that on your phone. After stepping away, this is what I came up with, proportion-wise, for the face. So let's replicate. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to explain this super well. So just watch, but I think you can kind of see where my mind is going. Normally my eyeliner goes, kind of takes up a big curve here. So I'm just gonna follow where my lid is. Ah, oh, just natural. Um, and then normally my eyeliner extends all the way to the eyebrow, but I'm gonna just keep it, keep it, keep some distance in between them. And then like always, I'm just gonna connect it and that'll kind of bring the shape to life. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so that's kind of how I started. So it is rather large, but I pull it down pretty quickly. Mm, fish. The black line is still coming, but I want to keep it really close to my lash line. Um, I kind of just want to cover my whole eye bag. Do some light flicks and don't breathe. Uh, that was so, this is my good side. I did my bad side first. Just follow that down. I think I'm gonna try and do a nude lip, which is just brown, which is strange to me that people want their lips to be brown, but. I use this pointed like flat brush for everything, my eyeliner, my brows. That seems pretty natural. Set the face. Set the face. Oh, once you got all that powder packed in. We can start blending it out. Contours. Anastasia Hills bronzer and cappuccino. Normally I would use like a card or something to have a harsh line, but I'm gonna keep it, keep it in there today. And then I'm just gonna buff it out with my fluffy brush. 
Do I not look like I just have perfect skin? <laughs> More face powder. Today I'm gonna do a brown eye. Um, to make it easy on myself, I'm gonna commit solely to this kimchi palette and I think I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the blueberry on the crease. Here's all the colors. We're gonna go in like lighter, darker, black. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. For the next color, I wanna be a little bit more precise, so I'm gonna take a really skinny brush, and this is chocolate. It's just like a dark brown. And first, I'm gonna pack it in on the crease. We're gonna go in with our Sex Kitten liner. Um, and just define the crease before we go in with black. Oh my god, she redeemed herself on that one. You won't be perfect every time. Buff it out. Um, I don't have a light blue, so I kind of mixed one up here on my makeup mirror. I tend to put a lot of cream and then it gets like all stuck in my brush and stuff So I just want to make sure it's all dry with this translucent powder Now I'm gonna set this with the kimchi blueberry mm, 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 mm. Um, Let's add the white here and then redefine all the black with eyeliner I am so sorry. I could not film myself doing the eyeliner <laughs> So I did it. This is what it looks like. Um, and now we're gonna buff it out with just the tiniest little brush you can find. And I'm bringing like hardly even into the center of my face. You want all the black out here. This is fierce. Oh. Let's brush off all this powder. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I am gonna kind of focus Cheek Slip Setting Spray Highlighter Eyebrows. Now normally, I do my cheeks here on the center of my face because when you're in drag and you have like a wig like this, all the blush you put here, it's not ever seen anyway. So I'm like, I like to frame it like that. So this is just a blush palette I have. It's called All About Blush by Style Essentials. Uh, uh. <laughs> do you see? I'm gonna go ahead and take a watermelon by Gimchi and we're just gonna put it here. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put highlighter on top, so it will go away a little bit. Okay, I realize I haven't done my nose contour. So I'm gonna take the toast in the Kimchi palette on this light blending brush. That's cute. Okay, I lied to all of you. I put down a brown lip, but you know what? Michelle's not here, so I'm gonna put this. I think it's fun, it kinda matte, it goes. Mm. Okay, around this time my hands get really sweaty, so I'm gonna take the gloves off. Plus, I need to show off these nails again. I love using multiple highlighters over the whole face, because I feel like every little section should get its own moment, so. Set your whole face. Hot. On the cheeks, like on the high and then a little bit lower, I'm gonna use this Summer and Bronzed. And while my face is wet, I'm gonna add this pink highlighter to the center of my lips and a white liner or highlighter under my brow. I feel refreshed. <laughs> Let's take our cappuccino contour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just very lightly, I'm gonna go over it with just a little dab of pink. Cause you see it like, it'll, you'll see it. Ah, yeah, ah, you know what I mean? Okay. Now we'll just blend out the eyes again. Light brown, dark brown, black. Hmm. Mm. 
So I've gone ahead and finished off this brow here. Um, I just added a few more little flicks up. I wanted to show this first so that you can see what it's supposed to look like. Again, I like a mascara that will come off easily at the end of the night. Although I painted lighter, I'm gonna add the same lashes that I always wear. Okay, ah! The lashes are on. Bottom lashes look like this, just a pointy one. I just cut it to four so it'll sit right on the center of the eyeball. Final touch, I'm gonna add on the dot on my nose. Set it with powder. Get crazy. Oh, we are pretty much there. I'm gonna throw on the full look um, and be right back. Oh, are you feeling the jam to see? <laughs> I look like a Mexican Barbie doll. This is the finished look. This wig is a little questionable. Um, it's not the one I wore on the show. It's much smoother. Um, fun fact, the long wig that I wore on the show is what I wore in the reveal. Teased up. Notice how I didn't have the fur, um, on TV. I couldn't afford it yet. Oh my gosh, she's coming for your man. She's getting all the money. Do I not look like I'm about to perform an Erica Jane mix? Um, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, see you next time.